Hey everybody, I'm Adam. It's March the 27th and it's time for your daily dose of today. A lot to unpack, but I want to talk about trusting the process. I would say many of us have started goals and quit at various point in times in our life. Either A, we didn't approach it with process, or B, we didn't trust the process, or C, maybe we just had the wrong process, which again breeds more mistrust. But one thing I would like to talk about is that trusting the process is more than just I'm gonna pick up what I'm gonna pick up what Adam says and run with it. It's more than just picking up the latest fitness thing and running with it. Because you don't trust anything else that way. So why would you trust achieving your goals in the same manner? Right? And I like to take a cue from this from farming which I grew up on a farm and uh, a lot of you didn't grow up on a farm and it shows. <laughs> and the reason why I take my cue from this is because people who make their livelihood on farming, they trust the process. And, and here's what I mean by that. Um, first, if they decide that they're going to make a living off farming, they don't on a whim just go buy a property and then go plow field, grab a bunch of seeds and throw it in there. Right? That would be insane. We do the same thing with our process, with uh, with our achieving our goals, chasing after a fad or going after you know just some sound bites and, and applying it. But think about that. The the farmer who has done it generation after generation, they have a process. They learn. They understand. They they understand when the timing's right. Correct. So they uh, they know when spring comes. They wait for. If you've never heard of something called blackberry winter, uh, that's a farming term that we use to describe certain planting seasons. Um, they know when to plant certain crops at which time of year. They know which crops to plant next to other crops. They know how deep to plant those seeds. They know how wide to put in between rows. They know how much to water them. Uh, they can determine by what they've done last year what they should do this year to get better yields, right? But these are all things before they ever plant the first seed and before they ever uh, furrow the ground for the first time. These are things that they understand ahead of time. Why? Because either they've spent a lot of time, they grew up under that tutelage and they know, right? Or they've done research about what they're getting ready to do. Because if you think about farming, and that's exactly what you want to do, right? It's the concept of planting and sowing in your life. And you're going to take, you're trying to chase after them and, and reap some rewards. You want to harvest. But you understand that whether it's a weight loss or business goals uh, or some other achievement, whatever it is, especially on a relationship level, those take a lot of time. They take a lot of time. They take a lot of concentrated work deliberate work. There is a process that goes into that, that you have to trust for a long time. And the one thing I think that gets us the most and correlate to farming and is that for the long time, the farmer does not see anything happening when he puts those seeds in the ground. And I think that's where most of us get lost. We put in that seed, we begin to do the work, we begin on a process that's proven, that's been proven for uh, you know, thousands of years, but because we don't see sproutlets out of those seeds in five minutes, five days, five weeks, we begin to say, well, nothing's going to happen. That didn't work. And we leave. We sell the whole farm and move back to the city. And as crazy as that sounds, and though we've seen history before us, before us, and we, people we love and trust are saying, here, this is how you do that. We just give up. Why? because we don't actually trust the process, because we haven't done our work to study and understand and truly believe in our heart that if we follow that, that we can yield fruits from our labor. So if I think about what can I do about this today, whatever you're getting ready to embark and journey on, start reading on it, start listening on it, dig deeper in it until you and your gut understand how the process works, that you understand how the fruits of those labors come about, and that it's not instantaneous gratification. So that way, even when you see nothing happening, you know that life is working in that, and you are going to reap the rewards as long as you stay deliberate. This has been your Daily Dose of today.